Okay, so this is my kitchen, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a way of recording sounds from this kitchen onto my phone, and then export them from my phone into a sequencer where we're gonna manipulate the samples to create a composition. So there's loads of different sounds you can find around the kitchen. I'll just show you a few, and uh, I'm gonna be interested to hear what kind of other things you come up with. So first of all, what you gotta do is, we're using, I'm using an iPhone so I can use GarageBand, to record the sounds. So I've downloaded GarageBand and I've set it so you can see the, the, the level coming up here. You can see we're getting some sound and it's picking up from this little corner here. You can see that when I tap it, it's, it's, it's sort of moving. And uh, the first thing I've got to do is actually I've got to check that I've made the bar lengths, so the little plus sign, make it really long. So, because I want to just record it as a single piece of audio. Okay, so now press record, press the record button, two, three, four, make sure that the metronome is off, and then we're gonna go around the kitchen and basically start recording some sounds from that bit there. So, here we go, we've got a bottle there. Got a glass there. Got a good beep here. The door, without the beep. Let's turn that off and then do it again. Yeah. Okay, and then we've got a drawer. really good for a kick drum. It's better up. Okay, and then we got Okay, and anything else we can find? Okay, so we've recorded as many sounds as I want to do. I press stop on GarageBand. And now we're gonna take that piece of audio which I've recorded on my phone in GarageBand or whatever you've recorded it on, I don't know what the Android version is. And then we're gonna import it into Logic and then start manipulating it to make a track. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now I'm back in the studio and I've plugged in my iPhone into my Mac using a, a lightning cable. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna to check to see, I've got the audio, let's go to the right page, here we go. And there's the audio, I can see it all there, brilliant. Let's have play it for a second. Yeah, so kind of something. There you go. So now I want to save it, so I just go to my songs, and here it is, my song eight. Um, so if you've uh, got an iCloud account, which you have got if you've got an iPhone, you've got to have an iCloud, it automatically saves everything that you put on your phone, like GarageBand projects, into, your, into an iCloud folder. So all you need to do is go to the Finder window, and you'll see here down the side iCloud, iCloud Drive, GarageBand for iOS. There it is, GarageBand for iOS, and there it is, Kitchen Recording. Now, if I double click this, it would open up straight away into GarageBand. But if I control click it, I can open with, and here we have Logic 10.5. So now that will open up. and ask me to save it, so I'll just call it Kitchen Recording. And there it is, and now we should be able to hear it. There it is. All the different sounds. It's got loads of effects on it. You can see that that comes in with GarageBand. Okay, so uh, let's just go on and start cutting this up and start editing it. Okay, let's go.